What up YouTube, welcome back to another video, and today is the first video, or first day with the starting of a new series. That was a sentence, I swear. Uh, every Thursday I'm going to be revamping my podcast. Um, I may also do it bi-weekly if I feel like there's um, more stuff to talk, but throughout the week I'll just take notes and things of what I want to talk about on the podcast, and let's have a podcast. What is it going to be, what is it going to be called, Wolf? I don't know. Real talk, Wolf, real talk, real talk with Wolf, something like that. IDK, but let's get into it. All right, so this is also going to be sort of a vape centric um, podcast because I will be vaping and I will be reviewing liquids and stuff on on here in the beginning of the podcast because vaping has helped me get off of cigarettes um, and it's just it's just helped me a lot with stress and stuff. Um, I mean, ninety percent of the time, or ninety percent of the things that help me get rid of stress is my girlfriend, but I I don't. I don't know how to speak English right now, all right? Just deal with it. <laughs> um, what I meant to say is my girlfriend is um, super helpful, and she's really supportive. It helps me get through some tough shit. So, anyways, let's get on with this review because I'm reading it. Um, Na- it's called it's a the company's called Naked. And it's called Lava Flow. Let's get a get a focus there and what i really like about them is they actually kind of put pictures of the flavors on the bottle so it's strawberry pineapple and coconut um i really like that for some reason it just makes it really easy to remember what's in it um besides remembering the name which is lava flow but um excuse me there is a message for you excuse me There we go. <laughs> um, I'm vaping on my Rogue Mech Mod. It's got a really cool RDA to it. You twist the cap. Here, I'm gonna put this close. You twist the cap to loosen and uh, tighten the airflow. And then it also has like these little feet on it. So it kind of locks into the actual mod, or the, the cap locks into the, the base pretty easily. So that's, that's neat. Anyways, um, I've got a, a single clapping coil on here. It's a one, two, three, four. It's a five, five wrap clapping coil. And let's let's vape. So right off the bat, this shit is super, super sweet. Now for some people that is great. For me, that's also really great because I'm used to custards, so more sours and more like, more bitters, sours, and like a different kind of non-fruity sweet. But this is super, super fruity sweet. So like, I'm used to bakery, like um, bakery flavors. So when I first tried it, I was like, oh shit, it's gonna make me sick. Uh, I'm not used to this kind of sweet. But the thing is, is I haven't had this kind of flavor in so long that actually I like it again. Um, I maybe it's just, I wasn't, maybe last time I smoked super fruity, they had a higher nicotine value because I used to smoke like, or vape, I shouldn't say smoke, I used to vape 12 and 12, 6 and even 24s at a point. So. It, I just had a bad association with really sweet flavors, but now I come back to it. And it's, it's a three, so it's it's really good. Cheers. So definitely be trying out more of their flavors. Also, my vape shop hooked me up with just a massive hundred mil of uh, this really 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 sweet one. Called, it's like a raspberry and strawberry flavor, so it's it's pretty good. And it's just nice because I go through looking like like crazy. I vape a lot. All right, first topic of the day. Um, the I posted up a YouTube video yesterday asking, like, what do you guys want? What do you guys want me to make? Um, do you guys want me to do Let's Plays? And someone did want me to do a Let's Play, so I'm going to do a Let's Play. My channel is that small <laughs> where my decisions are based off of pretty much just, like, one or two people. Because that's how many people comment. <laughs> um, that's how small my channel is. 190-some uh, subscribers, so... Hey, I, I'm I'm happy for each and English. I'm happy to have each and every one of you. So, thank you, thank you for hitting that big red button. All right. Um. So I'm gonna be doing let's plays. It's either gonna be weekly or bi-weekly. I'm not too sure yet. What games? I want them to be new. So once I can get my hands on a new game, I might do a let's play of that. Um. I wanted to ask you guys, Minecraft? Question mark. Maybe. Don't judge me. I missed the game, all right? Um, so that's going to be a thing. Um, I will also be doing maybe some 
like try not to laugh videos. The only problem is I need to find some good ones. So if you guys know of any good ones, sub them, or sub them to me. Send them to me, and um, so I can like try them out. Maybe I can actually laugh at this, at laugh the one you send me because fuck. There's I'm so bad at English right now. Good lord. Um, no, because I've tried doing these before and just Google's like doing a YouTube search, not a Google search, it's so hard to find good ones. They're all really kind of cringy and dumb, so, yeah, and a lot of them have like repeat stuff, so, anyways, that's the thing. So, there's that, um, I'm really excited to actually get back into like playing some other video games because I, I'm part of a team on Overwatch. And I, we like play every day, and we scream, and it's awesome. I love it, but I also want to play some like story games because I, I miss that. Um, I will not be able to play Last of Us 2 because I know one of you is very, very excited for that. Um, I don't have a PS4 anymore. Um, there is a PS4 in the house, but it's in the living room; it can't be moved. So I'd have to record out there, and then I can get interrupted, and blah blah blah, yada yada yada. So unless it comes out on PC or I get my own PS4, I will not be playing it. However, um, I will be try to do something along those lines so some some kind of game like that because i really like those adventure games um so we'll, we'll see what comes out um it's a new year so hopefully a bunch of new games will come out um i can do minecraft but only if you guys like it only if you guys want to like it because i don't want to put out a video and you guys not really like it and it's just kind of wasting my time and i can just be playing this on my own time so yeah let me know uh comments down below yeah This podcast is not going to be long. It's the first one. It's only me talking. So, it's just me talking. But, hey, if I do it, if I do it long enough, maybe something will come out of it and I can actually make a good fucking podcast. That would be amazing. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, that, it was just like a little, I don't, I don't know what to say. Um... I thought I had other topics. Oh, I have, okay, ending story, or, or ending note, and then an ending story. Um, when is the best time to buy airplane tickets? And surprisingly enough, my dumbass thought it would be right after a plane crash. Now, I didn't do any research into this, so don't take my word for it. Go, I would suggest doing your own research, but this is something I thought of last night. Um, after, the likelihood of a plane crashing right after another one uh, is really, really slim. Like, the odds are really, really, really in your favor like it's not gonna happen um like it, maybe it could be like two planes crash into each other but again that is still really low so but people don't really think about that and people just think or get or don't think they get scared they get paranoid they get, you know the anxiety flares up flares up is that the right term is the anxiety flares up i don't know but people you know stop flying like they're scared because a plane just crashed so prices drop because no one's flying therefore the you know airlines are trying to fill those seats so you know they drop prices okay maybe this person won't fly if i have to pay they have to pay 700 dollars but 400 dollars hey it's 400 dollars it's worth the risk i guess okay that's fine by me so then i thought okay so the best time would be as soon as the plane crashes however so this is not something you should rely on all the time because Planes don't really crash that often in the first place, so. Yeah, that, that's the thought I had. Oh, this Arizona is so fucking good, I love it. Alright, so. What's the next? Oh, the story. Um, so today I woke up and late. I woke up late. I did not want to wake up this late, but I did. Um, I woke up late and. Lo and behold, you know, it's my life. Something interesting is going to happen. So I get up. My uh, my girlfriend, Pixie, or, like, separated some clothes to, for me to do laundry. Like, she separated the piles. So these go, to, these go together because I had no idea what the, what the fuck goes together. Um, because I told her, hey, if you can just separate, the, separate them into piles, I can do them. I just don't want to ruin your clothes. <laughs> because my shit, I just throw all the way, all together and throw in the wash, throw in some soap, throw it in the dryer, and that's it. But her clothes, you know, fabric softener and stuff like that because they're nice clothes. Uh, oh, my God. My, my, my stomach be like, bleh. Um, <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? Um, okay. 
So I go and put a load in the laundry, and it rained really hard last night, so I go check on Fen, my dog, and she's somehow gotten out of her harness because we have her tied up to a tree in the backyard, that had, like with a lot of space, like 15 feet of, of lead. And there's a picnic table right next to it, which she can go under um, if she needs like somewhere to sleep, just off dirt under there, or like to get out of the rain. And I also had a tarp covering half of it um, to give her like you know cover, like a little tent. Here's the problem though: it came off a couple days ago, and I hadn't gotten around to actually putting it back up. And it rained really hard last night. She was fine, but um, I come out there and I see the the lead tangled around the picnic table and the tree and then the harness at the end of it but no dog actually no no that's not what happened no no i i already saw that she was out it was just that image really shocked me um i, know, I come in and apollo our cat is stand or not is sitting right in front of the back door just looking at it because you can kind of it, it's glass so you can kind of see through it but it's got like shades on it and he's just sitting there staring through and i just see this Shadow, and it's the outline of a German Shepherd. So it's my dog just sitting at the at the back steps. It's like, what up? And my cat, or not my cat, but our cat, is staring back like, what the fuck is that? Um, so I open the door. There's Fen, and the cat sees that it's a dog and runs off um, back into the house. And I go out there and I see the lead tangled up, and she's out of her harness. Now the harness is not broken. She's just out of it, and it's been not even unclipped. So my dog's Houdini, like fucking hell so I, I don't think i'll put it back on there and then i go to put the tarp back on just in case it rains again tonight and i undo it and i'm flattening it out and then i go back to kind of put these stakes in that i have on there and i notice something in one of the folds and it's a black widow half the size of a fucking quarter i mean this thing was huge and i knew it was different spider because it was black it was just all black and a really ball of a butt i had really what, it was like what the fuck so I initially I think oh I'm just gonna flick it away and then I realized like what wait this is this could be poisonous this looks different so I kind of like tie you know tight or make the tarp taut so that I can it kind of get out of the crevice and I can kill it and then I saw the little red diamond on the back and I was like oh that's a black widow okay and then what the fuck do I do now so I grab the tarp flop it over the black widow and just smash the fuck out of the tarp and kill it because I was just like I am not dealing with this shit right now so I just boop, 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 boop. and I had to actually do it a couple times but yeah tough fucking spider um so I killed it spent some time with Fen and left <laughs> and to this day I'm just kind of like or to this to now this was this morning to this day even now I'm just kind of like it's not coming after me right <laughs> but yeah uh, and then for the rest of the day I just Went got fabric softener. I'm not streaming today. I'm actually taking a break, so. Wanted to put out a good video. Um, yeah. But that's it. That's all I have for today. Um, I know this is probably cringy as fuck. And you're probably not even seeing this because you've already clicked off. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> uh, anyways, I will try harder. I will try to come up with some stuff for next week. But this might just be another just talking video. I talk to you guys. Tell you guys funny things that happen, so. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'm watching this. Love yourselves and love life. I'll see you guys in my next video.